Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. You ever lose something you just created? Well, this is, I lost what I just created. It may seem at times that Premiere Pro is inconsistent in the place that things fall into when you create something, like create a sequence or create an adjustment layer. But there's a very specific idea of where they're going. What you need to understand is a, a concept called in focus. A window is in focus when it has a blue outline around it. That means that's the one in the foreground that is selected. If you work with just one project panel, then there's less of a problem with this, but if you start opening up multiple project, multiple bins in their own window and you're creating stuff, uh, then it can cause a problem. I'm gonna give you a few tips and guidelines of where to look um, when you're creating something. Let's have a look. Here's a typical project window in thumbnail view and you can also look at it in list view. In creating something, you can choose either to go down here to the new item icon and click to create a sequence or an adjustment layer or black video captions. All of these things can be created down here. That's the way I prefer to do it. Some people will go to the new menu and choose to make it here. And the first thing you'll notice that sometimes these things are available, sometimes they're not. So if I go over here and grab the effects controls, and go back to that window, you'll notice that some of these things are grayed out. If you've watched any of my tutorials, you know that I constantly tell you to go to the new item icon to get away from those things that are grayed out. So that's the first thing. Don't go to the new menu, always go to the new item icon. Well, let's start creating some stuff, shall we? So I'll click down here and create a sequence. Click OK, and the sequence shows up in here. Notice that the blue line is around this. That seems pretty obvious. And let's create a new adjustment layer. Same thing, and it shows up in the project bin. But like I said, some people will have different uh, windows open. So if I double click on this particular window, and I'm going to look at it in list view just to make it a little bit easier. In list view now, you'll notice that when I have this open, the blue highlight is around here. Notice that I also get a new item icon down there and I get a new item icon down there. Oh, notice that when I clicked on this, the blue line is around this. Even though this window is in the front, that window is selected. So if you do happen to go to this menu and create a new, uh, gee, let's do color mat, click OK. Where did it show up? It showed up with the window in focus back in here, not on this window because it wasn't selected. Now if I do it here, but like I said, I'm gonna do it here. New, color mat, okay. It shows up in there. Same thing over here, new, color mat, okay. And it shows up in there. That might seem pretty obvious. In fact, it works with every single thing in that list, except sequences. <laughs> so this might be the one thing that, that you think you've got it right. Okay, if I have a window in focus and I have that selected and I choose the new item icon, it's gonna go in there, right? Let's try that. I'll go back into here, new sequence. Click okay. Where did my sequence go? It didn't show up in here, by default, it will go back over here to this project bin and you can drag it back into there. Okay, that's probably the one that's messing you up. You think you've got it understood and then you created a sequence, you have the window in the front, use the new right of icon. For whatever reason, sequences show up back in the project bin. Okay, two more things I wanna show you. How to move stuff out of a window that was there accidentally. And you can do this by opening everything up like I've shown in here. I'm gonna close this up and leave my project bin in a, um, a list view. Um, on North American keyboards, you can tap the tilde key that's above the tab key to make this window bigger. And it does help make working with files easier. Um, in one window, you can actually take something out of here. So here's my sequence too. Let's say I didn't want it in my Adobe stock folder. If I drag this out, it looks like it's over here 
when I close this up, you can see sequence two is out of there. So in a list view, if you have enough room, so that's why I maximize this window, I can drag things out and drag things in. Now, one other thing I wanna show you is how to open these uh, panels, these windows, a bin. By default, when you double click on a folder, a bin in the project window, it will always open in another window. And I'd say for me, half the time, that's what I want. But sometimes when I don't want to have to reorganize windows, I want to open the bin in the project bin itself. And there's an easy way to do that. Let's say I want to go back to my Adobe stock folder, hold down the control key on Windows, command on the Mac, double click. Now I've opened in this window and just like before, all of these things as I create them, a new adjustment layer, click OK. It shows up in there, um, a new sequence, click on that. OK, this is sequence number three. Let's see where that shows up. Oh, let's look where we are. <gasps> look, it showed up in the Adobe stock folder. Oh, so did you see what happened? When I had the Adobe stock folder or any folder open as a separate window, the sequence went all the way back over to the project bin, the main one that was open here, not in the window that I had opened. But if I open that bin in the project bin, then create a sequence, it shows up in there. One other thing, you've got to make sure that you go back out of here. So that's the way you get back into this folder. So command, control, double click to go in, go back out. When it's gray, it means you've gone all the way out. So don't despair when you've created something and you're looking around to find it. Sometimes it's your fault. You didn't have the right window in focus. Sometimes Premiere Pro has a mind of its own, but it is predictable. Like I said, the new sequence will always go back to that project bin wherever you have open. All right, so hopefully you're not confused now and you've found this a valuable tip. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, join us over on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you organized and looking good and not scratching your head of where did that go that I just created?